Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale. I seem to be bringing more and more news like this out, but I just wanted to pay, uh, play, pay uh, homage to and give my respects and condolences to Brittany Sharp. She was a patient of Dr. Pimple Popper. She died at the age of 31. Now, Brittany was on an episode of Dr. Pimple Popper on season two. She had large growths, uh, growths all over her body and they were wart like bumps. It appeared, um, that they, she said that when she got pregnant with her daughter, they, they came on her all at once. She struggled with these bumps for 11 years and um, she tried different methods to get rid of them, home remedies. Now, let me just say that she wanted to get rid of these um, bumps before she got married. She was engaged. And um, let me just get back to the home remedy. She used tea bags. She would tie rubber bands around the big ones to cut off the circulations um, so she could uh, just so they would fall off, I guess. But none of these remedies worked. I I saw this episode and I remember uh, before she went to the doctor, they showed a scene where she was at a restaurant with her, her fiance. And I really liked them as a couple. He did not, he thought she was beautiful with bumps in her, uh, on her face or not. He was, uh, he, they were both eager to be married, but she didn't want to until she got rid of the, the bumps on, on her face. Uh, sadly, she died May 2nd, 2019, May 2nd of this year. And they, it didn't mention in the article, well, it did mention that they don't know the cause of her death. There will be an autopsy, um, and, uh, to further investigate. And I'm, I'm wondering, did the growth had, on her body have anything to do with it? I, I don't know. Because I know that Dr. Uh, Sandra Lee, she mentions from time to time, and I think this is probably st- standard practice, that she would send whatever growth people had um, to have a biopsy done on them just to see, you know, if it's cancerous or what have you. So I can't see Dr. Uh, Dr. Lee not taking those precautions with uh, Brittany too. In fact, uh, Dr. Lee says this was like one of her favorite patients and she she paid uh, respects to her on one of her episodes that, you know, she she really liked her and and she just mentioned her on one of the episodes. I think they said that uh, she mentioned her on the latest episode that she had passed, the latest that she had recorded, uh, videotaped her episode. So I watched Dr. Pimple Popper, um, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, just to, to see what people go through, what skin t- conditions, and some of them are easy fix and some are not. Um, However, I do remember Brittany very well. And when I saw the article um, that she had passed away, gosh, I, it's a, it was a, a shock to me. Um, and I just wanted to bring this article out because I know a lot of people, a lot of people will recognize her picture. Even if you don't remember her name, you recognize her picture uh, and you recognize and you remember, I know you'll remember the struggle that she went to to get rid of those bumps, um, not just on her face, her arms, everywhere. So my condolences goes out to her fiancé, her family, 
And, and I imagine from the way it's worded in the article, her daughter has to be uh, 11, uh, 11, cause she says, or, t- or close to 12, because she says when she got pregnant with her daughter, that's when it appeared. And it says she's been struggling with this for 11 years. So, you know, just by, uh, the, just by eliminating, uh, uh, deducting the years and, and, what it says in the article, um, I believe her daughter, um, is 11 or 12. So, you know, she lost her, Brittany lost her mom not too long ago. So she was, um, she was trying to get through that. So, um, my heart just goes out to that little a baby, you know, without her mom. Uh, so I just wanted to bring you that and uh, let you know and j- kind of keep the uh, fans of Dr. Pimple Popper. Um, just keep you uh, updated on one of her patients. Thank you for joining me and uh, everyone have a good week. <laughs>